morning, Bash and I, we went to the gym and then afterwards we passed at a pastry spot that we could not resist. We had to go and check it out. So Bash got a pan of chocolat, which was really, really tasty. We can't come to Paris and not have any pastries. Like, that should just be illegal. And then we got back to the hotel and we had a sauna session and we're feeling nice and refreshed and calm. And now we're at lunch at Le Plume, which is inside the hotel. We've had the food here before and it's so, so, so good. So we thought it'd be the perfect lunch to have before the Valentino show today. We shot my Valentino look and this is how the content looks. And I'm really excited to shoot street style in it and just to experience the show. Valentino shows are always a highlight here in Paris. So I'm very excited. Fashion dilemma, guys. My meme you look on the DHL tracking says it's been delivered and signed for. And then we took the name and we asked the hotel who the person was that signed for it. They said there's no one in this hotel with that name. So. The Mimi show is in a few days and I do not have my look. I just, I don't know what to do. Hopefully they'll give me a backup look, but they seem to have given out all of the looks. So I don't know if there's anything left for me. So maybe I'm just gonna have to wear my own clothes to the show, but that would be really sad because part of the point as a content creator, I turn up wearing the brand, I shoot street style. I'm there to represent the clothes, so. Yeah, I just, I don't know what's gonna happen, but yeah, fashion disaster. So here I ordered a veggie gyoza and Bash got, is it Wagyu gyoza? Mm. Here I have a soul tempura, comes with ginger and spring onions. I believe that's gonna be like a soy sauce. I ordered a side of rice, a sweet potato and Bash got a lobster hot pot. Mm. Mix it. Get it, get it all, all in there, bash. just jumped in the car and guess what the moment we jumped in the car it starts raining I swear we haven't had maybe on Dior day just Dior day other than that we haven't had one clear non rainy show day every day it's rained and we were hoping to shoot a little bit beforehand but I just think this rain might be stopping me guys sad times so the theme of this show is la noir there you go. So I'm guessing that a majority of the looks are going to be black, which is perfect because who doesn't like black clothing? So I think it's going to be a very chic and formal show. That's the vibe I'm getting. But we'll see. It's always a surprise. Always expect the least expected. so many beautiful pieces and I was right it was a very very formal collection the dresses were insane there was this beautiful sheer dress that had like a high neck and an open back I'll put it up here it was ugh, I was just like that could be my wedding dress yeah why not why not have a black wedding dress who's there to tell you no but yeah it was very very beautiful and there were these really interesting hoodie dresses that were really cool and I could see myself wearing. They were quite oversized, big hoods. They were really, really cool. Here are my favorite looks. And now we're in the car on our way to get some more food. We are going back to Cafe Charlotte because it's one of our favorite places and it's close by and it's easy. And then we have a Valentino dinner. So yeah, we're gonna have two dinners, but sometimes you need to be prepared because you never know. 
at these event dinners you can't choose what you want to eat there isn't like a proper menu because there's so many people understandably so i'm just eating extra in case there isn't much i eat because i yes i love food but i'm a very very picky eater <laughs> guys how are you all doing on this fine day yes i say fine day because we finally have a blue sky this is the first time we've had a blue sky the whole of paris fashion week and it's just lightened up our moods because it means that we can shoot content and good content yesterday's dinner was lovely we didn't get back until like 12 a.m and for bash and i that's really late so we're like a little bit tired today but we didn't drink so we're all good so we're just tired we're not hung over or anything which is perfect i mean bash doesn't drink so he wouldn't know what it feels like to be hung over <laughs> you do know what it feels like to be hung over though <laughs> you've forgotten guys i'm sorry that i haven't been vlogging as much as i usually would but these last few days i haven't really felt myself i think i'm just a little bit run down from all the working that we've been doing and running to all the shows being in little clothing you can catch a chill so I'm just a little bit drained but today my mood has perked due to the blue sky and look where we are the famous Eiffel Tower and I also think because we're on the tail end of fashion week we're just a little bit how would you say we're not I wouldn't say we're completely exhausted. Yes, I could, Bash kind of said it, we're a little bit over it. Only because we haven't slept in our bed for two weeks and we've been struggling with the comfort of hotel beds. And we are so healthy usually that we love our home cooked food and we haven't had any home cooked food. So we just really want to get back into routine. We haven't been working out as much as we usually would. so. Yeah, we just kind of want to get going home now. But don't get me wrong, we have some really exciting shows ahead. But when you're just like not in the flow as much as you would usually be, it can be a little bit of a struggle. But of course, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to attend all of these shows. I'm grateful for the events that we attend. But Bash and I, we're getting old now, guys. We're not 19 anymore. We don't have the energy that you guys have. But yeah, I thought I'd be as honest as I can with you guys and as clear as I can because I reckon you guys will pick up that I haven't been on a good wave of vlogging, if you know what I mean. But also, in September, there's another season of Fashion Week. I think it's a lot better because, number one, it's like a sunny period of time, it's hot, everyone's very high on energy and it, it does help with just getting through the day and you're more inclined to go and meet up with friends and go to all of the events but with this cold weather I'm just like I really would love to do more but I'm always cold and I'm always in little clothes and that's just how it is. Also another thing that I think was getting me down a little bit you saw how happy I was in Thailand every day no makeup not having to worry about how I look I was in the most me zone possible and every day during fashion week i have to worry about having nice hair and worry about doing my makeup and then i get tagged in loads of pictures street style pictures and i'm constantly scrolling through looking at myself worrying about how i look and i just think that isn't the true me so i need to somehow kind of when i'm doing fashion week take myself away from worrying about how I look and worry more about how I feel. I know that just sounds like such a minor problem, but it's not good for me. It's not good for my my brain. Then that's just gonna like rub off on Bash, for instance. He has to deal with me worrying about myself and it's just not healthy. But that's also why I've kind of taken a step back from having hair and makeup come and do my hair and makeup every day for shows because it just again it's like oh am i getting the right makeup done for this show 
does my hair look good? Whereas if I just do it myself, it's a lot more casual and I'm being more myself. So I think in that aspect, it has helped. But yeah, like the true me doesn't worry about herself and how she looks as much as I do here during Fashion Week. That explaining and talking to you guys about everything was like writing a journal. I, I feel like a nice relief off my chest that you guys are now aware of how I feel during Fashion Week. We're gonna start shooting now. We're gonna shoot this gorgeous Louis Vuitton look. I have the show tomorrow and this is what I'm wearing. We just wanna get the shoot over and done with as we do have blue skies and we're very lucky right now. We are such creatures of habit. We are back at Cafe Charlotte for the third time. When we like somewhere and it's close by, we always make the effort to support. Sorry guys, it's so loud in here and it's a very, very busy restaurant. So I'm gonna speak as close to the mic as possible. I ordered something different this time around though. I ordered a chicken risotto and I'm very intrigued as to how it is. I haven't seen anyone eat it yet. I haven't seen any photos, but I was tempted to try. And I got some long green beans because I want some greens in me, some vegetables, as I feel like I've been eating a lot of beige food since I've been in Paris and in Milan. It's important to keep my vegetable intake up, 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 up. Also, thank you guys so much for the love on my Milan vlog. I didn't expect there to be so many views so quickly. So it's good to see that you guys are enjoying my Fashion Week vlogs and I hope you enjoy this one. Remember, we want to get to 5K and 10K at the end of the year. Honestly, guys, the support, the love, the comments, the likes, the subscribers. I really appreciate it. This is my uh, risotto of chicken. Interesting, not what I thought. Uh, don't know how I feel about this. Okay guys, it wasn't as bad as it looked. It tasted way better. Like the risotto was very salty and creamy and that's how I like it. And the chicken, the juice around it was tasty. So I'm not disappointed. All is good. LED mask with me so I'm just doing that this is great therapy for your skin who would thought that a light could heal skin it's crazy and we also bought with us our Shakti mat which is a form of acupuncture and you just lie on that for like 15 minutes and it releases all back tension so I'm gonna do some self-healing I look crazy but I don't care Okay, so after pampering myself for a little bit, I decided to get ready for the Caperni show. The Caperni show always has a viral moment. The season before last, they had these cyber dogs which were controlled by controllers and they looked so realistic. So that was a major viral moment. And then before that, I believe they had the moment with Bella Hadid where they spray painted the dress onto her. So. I have very, very high expectations, Caperni, for you to do another viral moment tonight. Fingers crossed. So I actually decided to go for a Caperni piece that I bought before Fashion Week, and it's just this one piece. That kind of reminds me of like a ski suit, but make it sexy. It's very short, and then it has the high neck and kind of balloon sleeve arms. I love it. However, I came very unprepared for footwear, so I've just gone for my very plain leather ankle boots. I wish they were knee high, but it's fine. Sarah is getting out of her head about everything being perfect. We are gonna go and get some dinner really quickly. If we don't eat now, it will just be too late and we won't eat. So we're gonna go to our favorite local Thai spot, Bien Bien, and just eat loads of good food. fashion disaster. 
we are just sat happily eating our Thai food and Bash just double checked the Cook Pony invite to see where we were going. And to his surprise, the show starts at 8, not 8.30. So we're a half an hour drive from the location and the show starts in 15 minutes. In 10 minutes now. But at this point, we've just got to laugh about these things because, you know, it's just fashion. There's nothing to stress over. And I feel like since we made the Prada show in Milan, even though we were running late, we're going to make this one. And it's kind of like a game to see if we're going to make it or not. But no, it's nothing to laugh about. I'm honestly so grateful I get invited to these shows, but this kind of stuff is out of our control. And poor Bash, he has to handle everything throughout the day so it's just like a lot for him to remember the times as well as addresses as well as everything else that's going on also update on my Mew Mew look still hasn't turned up we've opened up a case with DHL so they're looking into it but there is honestly like no trace of this parcel so I currently don't have a look and the Mew Mew show is tomorrow and I'm so sad because it's my first ever Mew Mew show and I'm obsessed with Mew Mew. I love Mew Mew and like I just wanted to make them proud and it's just going wrong. As you can tell, we haven't moved. We're stuck in traffic. This is not good, guys. Honestly, what is going on? Fuck. Literally running. <laughs> I know. We made it, guys. We made it. Barely. Just about. I'm honestly so happy we made that show. It was epic. There was this incredible nylon dress that had like a really poofy skirt and then a very high neck. Similar silhouette to the one piece I'm wearing now, but with a poofy skirt attached. I see myself wearing that, I need it. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for that dress once that collection is released, but it won't be for a while, I don't think. I'm very, very, very glad that we made it. Oh, what a day. Here are my favorite looks from the show currently walking back to the hotel room and guys fingers crossed that my Mew Mew look is there waiting for me I just hope the hotel have found it and placed it in my room as a replacement Mew Mew have sent another look so I'm hoping that look is there too if not I don't think I'll be able to sleep Good morning. You guys are probably wondering, did her Mimi look come, did it come, did it come? Yes, it did. However, the backup look arrived. So not my original look, the backup look, which isn't as me, but I'm still gonna make this one work and we'll make it look cute. Librarian grandma chic is very in right now. So I feel like this look is channeling that. I haven't put it on yet, but I will try it on after I gym and sauna. Bash is making me go to the gym because I haven't been very good at working out since I've been here and I haven't had a lot of energy. So he said, this is gonna give me energy. Yeah, because she hasn't done fuck all. Bash, don't <laughs> swear, I hate it when you swear. <laughs> just ordered a coffee and we're gonna go and do a sauna session. So what I've been doing is I've been washing my hair, um, obviously in the shower, and then I go down to the sauna so it dries quickly. My hair dries within 15 minutes in the sauna and I think it's such a good hack when you're staying in a, in a hotel with a sauna because I've got a lot of hair. It usually takes ages to dry and I don't like drying my hair with a hair dryer. So sauna, dry hair in there, that's, ultimate hack and save so much time. I just got changed into 
my Mew Mew look and it's really, really cool. And I'm very surprised because in the photo, I was like, will I be able to pull this off? But I think I can. Let me give you a proper look. Okay, so let me break this outfit down for y'all. We have a very thin polo, which is long sleeve. And then I've layered it with a cream V-neck in the same fabric. And then this dress is very 50s slash 60s. It kind of reminds me something of, like what my mom would have worn when she was maybe my age or a bit younger. And then this cardigan is quite worn, not in the sense someone else has worn it the way it's been made. And I really like that, I love the shape. And I've just got it off one arm because Mew Mew at the moment is all about being unready and disorganized. It's all very casual. So I'm trying to make this look as slouchy as possible. The bag. I've added my own charms to it because it's actually a, a very in thing right now. I see Balenciaga have added charms to a lot of their bags and Mew Mew themselves have added their own charms to a lot of their bigger bags. So I've done it to my little croissant handbag. And then the shoes, a good old loafer. Guys, if you know me, you know that I love loafers so much. So I'm happy, I'm really comfortable and I'm loving this look. Look, whatever is meant to be is meant to be, and this was, this outfit was obviously meant to be. And I'm happy it worked out. Hey guys, reporting from the floor of my hotel room, here I am getting ready to leave Paris, but... I'm not leaving just yet. I've got one more show to go and then we leave tomorrow morning. So I'm just currently like on the floor packing, trying to organize. Let's have a chat about the Mew Mew show. The Mew Mew show is always fabulous and it being my first one, it was a really good one. There were some insane looks that I was just obsessed with. And I was, it was so fun to see fur jackets from Mew Mew. Fur jackets are very in with the whole mob wife trend and to see them styled in the Mew Mew way was really fun. They styled them with gloves, denim, fur, I loved it. Those looks I will take inspiration from, that is for sure. Oh, there were like really big parka jackets and I loved them. They were in like such an unusual shape and a Mew Mew parka jacket, yes please. They were really cool and I love being warm. So I was just looking at them like envious. Oh, you guys are so warm right now. Gigi Hadid walked down the runway. She looked fabulous. It's always fun to see like big faces walk down the runway because you're like, oh, that's so cool. There was a lot of looks which were very pulled back for Mew Mew. They were very, I was seeing pearl necklaces and just kind of plain silhouettes. And I thought that was quite, that was like very stripped back for Mew Mew, Mew, Mew as usually a lot of the looks are just styled by layers on layers and layers. I loved my look. It was very slouchy. It was very, very pulled back. I do wish that maybe I was a little bit more dressed up for my first Mew Mew show as I just felt really, really dressed down in comparison to other people. But Sarah must not compare. These are my favourite looks from Mew Mew. I'm very excited and ready to get dressed for Louis Vuitton tonight. My first Paris Fashion Week Louis Vuitton show, which I'm very excited about. And I really love my look. You guys saw it the other day. I'll be wearing that tonight. And I believe that the show is a walk away from my hotel, so I get to walk there. Being stuck in a car, guys, honestly, it's not as glamorous as it looks. It is so much nicer just to be able to get to a location and back, no problem. It's like a pretty decent day today, so it's not raining right now, touch wood. So I should be all good to walk to Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton has have given me this massive weekend bag, which is very, very similar to the one that I bought in um, Copenhagen, except this is much newer and mine is so much worn. We're gonna shoot it in a very candid way as if I'm like, rushing to the show with my big bag. So that will look cute and by the time I have shot that hopefully you guys can see how the pictures look honestly I'm so excited for this show and I think it's going to be a special one it's going to be by the Louvre it will be Nicholas's 
Atelier at Louis Vuitton, which is quite a big deal. So I think the show is going to celebrate that aspect. 10 years is a really long time. Nicholas is the creative director for women's at Louis Vuitton. So that will be a moment in history to witness. That would be cool. Hi, Bash. Hi. Okay, let's get dressed for... guys i just got back to the hotel room after the incredible louis vuitton show it was honestly it was spectacular the whole setup i felt like i was at a music concert are you taking pictures of me I finished the role. bash just finishing the roll the pieces were maybe in my opinion one of Louis Vuitton's best women's wear shows. There were incredible fur coats. There was one of the most epic fur coats I've ever seen in my life. There were sparkly dresses, which were really beautifully made. They sparkled from far, far down the runway. They caught my eye instantly. There were some really epic bouncy dresses. I know it sounds a bit weird, but the way that they hung off the model were just insane. That was like a piece of artwork. I'm sad because they all held the bags with the left hand and I was sat on the right side so I didn't get a clear view of the bag. But me and Victoria, who I sat next to, we were both like, no, we didn't get to see the bags. But it's fine, the boots were insane. They had like really beautiful stitching and I could see myself wearing all of the shoes. I love Louis Vuitton shoes. I'm a big fan of their loafers. They have some really, really, really amazing footwear. Their boots are insane. Whilst I was watching the show, I was looking at the models. I was like, I could walk this runway. They all had very similar hair to me. Not all of them, but a handful of them had very similar hair. I was just feeling the whole vibe, all the models had no like next to no makeup natural loose hair it was it was very freeing honestly i i have i have a little bit of a buzz from that amazing show so i'm very grateful that i got to close my paris fashion week with the louis vuitton show and fingers crossed many more to come here are my favorite looks what did you guys think of the show let me know what your favorite looks are if you go onto Vogue Runway, you can also have like a look at the overall show and you get to see the pieces in detail. But from what I've shown, let me know what you like. I honestly have had such an amazing two weeks of fashion week and it's only February. February is the calm season. September is when it is wild. Energy is high, it's good weather. And I feel like there's a lot more people about and not so many people do the February season, even though towards the end it did feel a little bit hectic. But yeah, it was insane. My highlight from Paris Fashion Week, from the day we arrived to now, it feels like years ago, but the Dior show is always my favorite show. Just the energy there is insane. And I really, really, really love the Dior collection. And then finishing with Louis Vuitton, those might be my highlights. Yeah, that's for sure. Low points, I would say those few days where I just kind of got into myself and into my head and I was just overthinking everything and I wasn't feeling myself. So those two days were a little bit of a downer, 
but I, I feel like I've overcome it. Honestly, guys, there is more important things to worry about in life than having to just feel self-conscious and having negative thoughts. It's, if you can push past that, you feel much better. And I think I did push past that. I feel good. Oh, guys, tonight there's a Mew Mew party. And as you know, I'm not much of a party person, but I feel like I need to go so I can let loose and have a drink and socialize. But all I really want to do is order Thai food and watch The Shogun, which is a new series. Is it on Disney Plus? Disney in, in the UK, yeah. Yeah, Disney. And we watched the first episode the other, other night and it was so good all i can think about is watching the next episode in bed after eating a lot of thai food sorry i look crazy guys i do have to be up very early tomorrow morning i have to be up at like 6 30 to get picked up at 7 and then our train into london is at 8 30. we have finally finished fashion week i'm so happy okay enough blabbering guys I'm gonna order some thai food our rider who has our delivery is very very close by and as we go downstairs i'm going to give concierge my looks the remaining looks that i have and then we're gonna eat Ugh. this in my eyes is the best way to celebrate the end of fashion week <gasps> am i gonna do a food haul yes i am running back to the room so we can eat and so it doesn't get cold I think he's made an omelette for us. No. Okay, guys, we go to the MBN so much and we told the guy who works there how much we love Thai omelettes and he's given us a Thai omelette. <gasps> oh. oh, I mean, I don't know how well they travel. We have some prawn crackers. Bash ordered a coconut water. We went in. We uh, went in. It. It's okay, it's worth it. I got a chicken pad Thai. Let me show you in better detail, guys. It's a shame we don't have any plates up in this gaff. <laughs> I, I don't want to tip this over at the camera so it all falls out. And then we have some fried rice. Bash got a soup. We have omelette. Let's eat. And just like that, Paris Fashion Week is officially over. As you can tell, I didn't make the Mimu party. I am too fresh and too awake to have partied last night. But you know what? There'll be many, many more to come. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, 5K and 10K at the end of the year. Obviously, more than that at the end of the year is a dream, but thank you so much. And I'll see you next week for next week's video. I hope you enjoyed following me during my fashion weeks. Bye.